Vij. I'm an actor. Uh, I'm also an interior designer, and you're watching me on Webfair. Live. One day I just woke up and I was like, oh my god, why am I not acting? Like literally, it was it was all in one day, you know. And uh, I happened to go to uh, this cultural center in Delhi, which is called India Habitat Center, and I I happened to go there and. Um, I got some random number that led me to a theatre group and it just so happened that one of the actors on that particular day was not well and they were looking to recast and things like that and I happened to audition and uh, it, it went through and of course like yeah one thing led to the other and I ended up doing about 10-12 plays in Delhi and then of course Baked happened which was a huge thing in my in my life and uh, and yeah slowly and steadily like we made the move to Bombay and since then we've been working, yeah. Career, you know like career is a very big daunting word actually. It, it transports me back to like class 12 when the burning question was like, oh my god, like what is your career? So I never like to call this a career. I just think like I like to act and I want to um, I, I, I want to give it my all and it requires effort and so I should be paid for it and that's how like acting happens. They've always been very appreciative of anything that I've, I've been doing and they're very fascinated by, uh, by, in, you know, by this entire new world that they have absolutely no idea about. So they, they, they're very fascinated parents <laughs> and there was never any like or you can't do this, or you shouldn't do this. There was never any such instruction. And that helped me so much because that was one chapter that I never even had to worry about. You know, I was just always like, oh, what do you want to do, Kriti? Like, what, what do you want to do next? You know, it was never like, oh, I have to impress somebody or like, oh, this won't be allowed or things like that. So, yeah. I'm just so lucky to have been born in a time where like all of this was was coming up and like there were opportunities enough like for for people to sort of experiment and like try out things and you know um and and so i've got these opportunities so i love the web it's got so much potential um it's it's got uh, less limitations and less uh, uh you know there is no criteria to be part of the web and so I just think that like it's it's got a really bright future. Like everyone's looking at it. Like we're constantly on our phones, you know, uh, and it starts from there. So like uh, I I have I really foresee a very very bright future for the web. Yeah. Essentially, it is it is acting. You know, you are still trying to you're still pretending to be somebody else, and you're still playing a different person. Uh, but I just think that it's it's the way that the viewer watches it. So, like for example, the the you know in theater, the audience can choose the frame they want to see, but in on screen, the audience is shown the scene, the frame that uh, you know they they're shown the frame that uh, the director wants them to see. You know. So that's that's the only difference. I, I do think that there are some techniques uh, in acting which are uh, you know which are very specific to theater and the camera catches very microscopic movements as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's the only difference according to me. What the folks actually um, you know the character that I play on What the Folks Shreya is was um, was so different from who I am as a person that I think like it it was it was an uncomfortable character and I and that's what made it that much more interesting you know like I like I said even yesterday I was telling somebody that I, I warmed up to her you know I really like started liking her when I first read Shreya I I was like, oh my god, like, I don't, I don't know this person at all. Like, there isn't anything about her that, like, I, I want to sort of, I can, I can catch on to, you know. But, um, but slowly and steadily, like, yeah, I warmed up to her. So it was, it was a very, very interesting experience. It's very challenging 
to wait for your next job this is something that i'm really working on like i don't know what to do with my life when i'm not like on the job you know so that that little wait period is is quite challenging and i'm like that itself is like something that one needs to like sort of work at so yeah from what the folks i realized that uh i don't like that that working on a character that you don't get in the first go can be actually very very interesting like that's what i learned from what the folks from baked i learned that um that when a character is so close to uh you and your personality it's you just there's it it comes so naturally like you have to work on how to stay as real as possible you know because a lot of the inspiration comes from who you are and what you do you know so that was that learning and sometimes you don't even realize what you've learned but you've learned and you see it on the next project that you do you know so okay yeah. dice media is like it's like home because i came to bombay about a year back and i was working on a dice show the day after i shifted so it's it was my first like sort of uh, step into this world and uh, there's such a fun bunch like that office is just a really happy office and it's got lots of fun people so i've done two dice shows now so yeah i've worked a lot with them actually yeah i really liked better life foundation i loved that show have you seen it it's really nice uh i really liked what the folks and i really really like um this other show called aam aadmi family i loved permanent roommates i actually even really liked baked yeah so <laughs> yeah so i i yeah i i like a lot of the stuff that's coming up actually i yeah. dude i hate that like if that's happening that's horrible because uh you've got to let let something be you know uh if 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 there are so many like blocks and obstacles then people won't be able to do what they what they can do you know and what they should do um i hate that like i hate that there's going to be something called censorship uh in this entire horrible censorship is is about like uh telling people what not to do and that's that's never cool i think like the audience is smart enough to choose what they want to see you know what they want to watch and what they what what resonates with them so yeah so i'm against censorship <laughs> yeah i just think that we now have the the advantage the freedom the liberty to be able to create work for ourselves i just think that the internet the web allows for so much that you know we don't have to wait for the next big thing to happen and for somebody to find us like we we can we can create things for ourselves and i think that itself is such a beautiful feeling like it's such a satisfying feeling according to me so like um to people who who are out there wanting to become actors like i just think that like uh like get together and create something i just think like it's it's about just knowing that you can do it and about doing it you know it's it's just that so i i i just think that it's a huge lovely bright future for everyone out there who wants to um experiment with with storytelling i really think it's a lovely time uh so what the folks just finished um it finished yesterday and uh, there's another show by woot called law and honor which should be out i think early next year so um, i'm playing a character in that so yeah so that that's what it is mm-hmm.